Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, let's talk about the product variants inside Olu 17. As same as the products, we have a product variants menu inside every modules like the sales, purchase, inventory and so on. So product variants are also very important because inside the variants menu, you can see the variants of the products which you have created. Suppose you have a product called shirt and you have created variants like shirts in different colors, different sizes and all. So these shirts, that is the uh, attributes which you have given can be found individually inside the product variants menu. So I'm not wasting your time. Let's move on to the video and see how we can manage the product variants. So now let's see how to manage the product variants. So for that, uh, you can either go to the sales module or even the purchase module. So I'll show you it inside the sales module. So first of all, what you have to do is go to configuration settings and you should make sure that the variants are enabled. So here you can see under the product catalog, we have the variants and it's already enabled. Okay. So before moving on to the variants, I'll go to the products menu and you have a sub menu called products as well as product variants. If you simply choose the product variants, you can see all the variants of the product that exist in your system. Suppose you take the product stool and the stool is having variants like uh, a dark blue color, green color and gray color. So you can see them as three different products inside the product variants. It's the difference. Now if you go to products and let's create a new product. Okay, so I'm going to create a product called bag. Okay, bag. So let it be a storable product. And here you have the attributes and variant section. Okay, so what I'll do one thing, I'll simply start it, save it. Okay, and let's go to configuration. So I'm going to create attributes which can be used here under the product bag. Okay, so here you have attributes. I'm going into the attributes and let's create a new attribute for this product. So I'm adding the attribute as color of bag. Okay, so you have an option to make it visible inside the uh, e-commerce. You can either keep it hidden or even visible. Then you have the display type. So under display type, you have so much display. So I'll show each and every one. You have radio, pills, select, color, and even multi-check box. So first, let's put it as radio. Okay. We'll test it with the same attribute. Okay. Well, that's the same variance. And then you have the variant creation mode. Let it be instantly for the time being. Now I'm putting values as colors. I mean, let it be black. Okay. And sorry, black. Then you will add blue. And one more color. Let it be yellow. Okay. So I've added three values for the attribute color. I'm saving it. Now let's use it inside the product bag. So here's the product which we created, which is bag and going to the attributes and variants. Adding the attribute line, which is the okay color of bag. Okay, now we have three values, which are the black, we have blue as well as yellow. So I've added three attributes over here. Now I'm saving it. Okay, now let's use it inside a sale order. Okay, so going to orders, going to quotation, creating a new one. So let me add a customer, let it be deco. And then I'm adding the product, which is bag. Okay, so here comes a variant selection window. So as I chose, this has come as radio. Okay, you can choose whatever it is and the quantity can be chosen from here. Radio button has come. Okay, so this is how you choose. That is at the time you can only select one. Okay, so whatever color it is, you can choose it from here and simply confirm it. So I've chosen black bag and confirm it. So that's how the, you know, radio works. Okay. Now let's go back to products and open bags. Okay. So as you can see, you have three variants over here. Variants count can be seen here as the variant creation was instantly. Now let's go to configuration settings. And other than settings, we can open it from the configuration itself. Okay. We have attributes here. So I'll open it like that. And here we have the color of bag. So I'm choosing it. Now I'm changing the radio to pills. Okay, let it be pills and I'm saving it. Okay, so once the saving is done, let's create a quotation. Let it be new. Adding the customer, Deco, and I'm adding a product. 
which is back. Now you can see it has come in a different order, which is the style called pills. So three colors in three different squares has come, right? So this is the style called pills. So you, you can choose it likewise. So I'm choosing blue, confirming it. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now let's uh, just discard it because we are not going to create one. Our intention is to see the attributes. Going to the attributes again, opening the color of bags. Okay, now what you have to do is choosing the display type as select and saving it. Okay, so I'm saving it. So let's go back to Shardix. Sorry, uh, going back to quotation. Creating a new quotation. Here you have the customer adding the quotient. So let's add a product here. Let the product be bag. Okay. Now here comes the selection. So from here, from the drop down, you can select whichever color you want. Okay. So that's the form called selection. You can choose it and confirm it. I'm discarding it. Now go back to attributes. Choosing the attribute which I created. You have color over there. So while choosing color, here you have to set the colors. Okay. So for black, I'm setting the color here. This is black. And then you have blue. Okay. So let the color. Sorry. So this is blue. And then you have yellow over here. So here we have yellow. Okay. I'm setting black again because it was not set yet. Okay. So that's done. This is how you set color. Now simply save it and go to orders, create a quotation and let's see how it comes. So I'm creating a new quotation, adding the customer over here and let's add the product. So this is our product and let's see how it comes. So you can see three colors has come. Okay. So while looking at the color, you can choose it. So I'm choosing yellow, whatever color it is, it will come. Okay. So confirm it. So that's how you get the display type as color. Now, if you go to attributes again, choosing the color of bag, you have one more thing, which is multi checkbox. So opening that, saving it. So, okay. So it's not compatible with the creation of variants, it seems. Okay, fine. Let's close it. So this is basically, um, you know, an option. You have this multi checkbox, you have options. So we'll do one thing, we'll create one more attribute. I'm closing it and putting it back to radio, saving it. I'll create one more attribute. Let it be the size of the bag. Okay, size of bag. And then I'm choosing the variant creation as dynamically, adding the value. So let the value be big, okay, and medium. So I'm adding two, okay big and medium and let it be dynamically saving it okay so now let's go to the products here you have the product which is bag you can see three variants are there we are going to add the other attribute as well which is the size of bag and here i'm adding the two sizes which i've added which is big and medium simply save it so you can see the variance has disappeared, right? So that's because we've chosen dynamically. Okay, that's the variant creation mode as dynamically. Now you can go to quotations and try to add it inside the quotations. So here you have to add a customer, add a product, and then comes the configuration. So here under the configuration, you have two things, which is color of the bag and size. So you can change be it any count of attributes, you can choose whatever it is for specific attributes, okay? So that's basically how you manage with the product variants and attributes. I hope it's clear. So that's how you manage the product variants inside Olo 17. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.